Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to Kitty Power's Love Life, where apparently Jeremy is feeling a little bit unloved by Brody. That's fine. Don't worry about it. We've already solved intimacy problems, so who really cares? You can just deal, right? Just feel better. That's pretty much what I'm going to tell you. Just give you some love juice or something and be like, hey, you're fine. Go on home. No worries. Wow, there's just nothing happening today. Holy cow, all right, well, we're giving Lily a makeover. Like, pretty gosh darn quick. Jeez. I thought for sure some kind of uh, random events would happen in that time, but no. Hello, Danny. Okay, we're about to propose to Riss. And he is sporty. Do I need to give someone a full makeover? Jesus Boy, howdy, I hope not. Let's try and not do that. Uh, let's just get uh, you basically sportified, and I think everything will be good. You can't turn down $30 clothes. It's just not feasible. All right, so we will do this. Once I solve all the problems, well, let me think about this. Yeah, once I solve all the problems, if that does happen, then, um, we should be okay to, um, uh, just start moving people out and then getting people that I can actually do missions with, like the four level ups in a week. Like, I can't do that right now, I just do not have the people I need, quite frankly, so, you know, that's a problem, but whatever. Now, I know you love the sports field, that's why we chose here, and, uh, we got a makeover, of course we look wonderful, oh, everything is perfect. Behold, our wonderful gift, is it a sports whistle? No, it's a racing helmet, I forgot that we have some whistles, too, that we could probably use for, uh, Alright, this is a good start that we could probably use for some sporty types. Let's go for some random chance. Right. Got that one, 50%, not bad. We know we gotta go jogging every day, he's a sporty type. Uh, getting fruity, I feel like, is also a sporty thing. And then what's the last one? Probably be extroverted. Alright, 4 out of 5, not too shabby. I think we'll be quite alright if we stick with that. You know, just, if we don't get lower than 4 out of 5, we should be okay. On, the yellows are on our side. It has been a while since we've spun this wheel, quite frankly, and I think we're going to be okay. We are going to utilize a yellow to skip one nice. spot forward well done, to our nice, wonderful yeah. green spot. So, thank you. And, uh, let's see. I feel like we should... Uh, like, that's about it, right? I mean, we're only gonna get two successful couple level ups in this, because I believe we're kinda near the end of the week. So, uh, you know, can't really rely on that anymore. We just need, uh. I don't. I, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Words are not coming very well to me. Hmm, you think you're ready to depart? Nope! Definitely not. I mean, I know Peggy and Benjamin are like the uh, the chosen couple with the guilty pleasure problems, that I need them so much. We're making collages. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, let's make collages. Okay, good. Peggy has a friend. I'll hopefully just keep her cool and all that. Um, but yeah, even though there are chosen couple, like, we kind of need to uh, keep everyone around, I suppose. Like, see, Brody and Jeremy wanted to move out together, and I was like, no, 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 no. I don't really think it's optimal if you guys move out, okay? You want to talk about your relationship? It looks like you're going to get the jump on Polly, so... We'll just help you out with proposing to your partner. Yes, ready to help Larry. Yes, you should get a makeover. What type is Polly? She's practical. I don't know if we have any practical ones. Okay, science documentaries, she likes that. Oh, we do have. We have the craft center. Fantastic. I figured that would be arty, but no. Practical is A-OK -okay there as well. Or maybe even more so. Who knows? Okay, let's do this one. So we'll do Sunday, February 24th. Very close to my birthday. Do I have anything for practical people? Personalized coffee mug? 
Mm. Don't really know about that. Carbon fiber fishing rod? Hedging shears. Hedging shears. Let's get her some hedging shears. It'll be perfect. And then I know you want to spend time with friends. Let's help you out. So you're geeky. Science documentaries, elves, and animal skulls. Well, animal skull... Well, we have science documentaries, at least. Do we have someone who would want to watch science documentaries, though? Like, maybe Frank. Maybe Frank, because he's got the edgy and the hipster, which I feel like, you know, if an edgy person's gonna like it, we might as well throw hipster in the mix and hope it works out. Uh, I was hoping we had a little bit more choice there, but it, it appears he has not met everyone just yet. Melissa, of course, has something worrying her, as we should expect. And we solved the problem with friends. Good, I'm very glad. Now we should have two people in here. You were going to talk about your relationship and not actually do anything about it because we don't care. Uh, and by that I mean we've already helped Larry, so you're fine, don't worry. And would you like to spend time with friends? You have one friend. You're practical. Uh, wicker basket, spreadsheets, and binoculars. Wicker baskets, spreadsheets, and binoculars. Like, none of these are really good. Like, I don't know, maybe Benjamin would like studying spreadsheets? That seems like it could be a chic thing. Why not? Let's see if we can get Benjamin a good old friend. Okay. You're good. Uh, yep, that should be all you need. Probably. And Melissa, you don't want to discuss your relationship. Don't be ridiculous. Let's see what you've got going on in that head of yours. His guilty pleasure of heavy metal isn't entirely acceptable, so... Okay, guilty pleasures. Uh, I have bad news for you about me. Hopefully you'll be okay, but Frank and Melissa now moving forward into the most important couple territory. So we'll help you talk with them. And really all your problems should just sort themselves out eventually. Like, we have the compromises going, so please just be okay. That's what I care about most of all. Frank hit his panic button, so uh, we gotta go see what's up over here. Oh no, uh, something on the phone. Rearrange the wires to oh, make no. the connection. <laughs> something on the electricity. Well, we know one has to go there. And then we can do like that. And that. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should work. So you go there. You go there. Perfect. Oh my goodness. I love it when I do a VIP one of those so easily because I'm like, otherwise I just feel like I'm always going to mess up. Oh. Sometimes things don't work out too well on that one. You, you need to figure out what corners you have and don't have so you can figure out if you need to go the long way or something. But that one, as far as VIP ones go, nice and easy. Gonna help Peggy become friends with Bonquisha. Hope it works that Peggy can stop complaining about not having any friends because it's just ridiculous. You have all the friends you ever need. It was totally awesome. You get conspiracy theories again every week for the rest of our lives. This is how you get flat earthers. Just talk about conspiracy theories. The only people who talk about conspiracy theories are the ones who the chemtrails haven't gotten to yet. Everyone knows that. Okay. Oh, thanks for always doing yoga. What do you think? Okay, we got some good friends together. Awesome. Frank enjoyed. I knew hipsters would enjoy yoga. Let's be serious. What would we do without friends? Uh, pff, record YouTube videos? I don't know, that's a weird joke to make. I just got finished playing Soul Calibur with my friend, so I don't know if I could really make that joke, but, you know, sitting alone in a room talking to a camera seems like a pretty good bet of what you would do without friends, uh, I suppose. Okay, did we want to talk about something? Yes. Your secret obsession with heavy metal, no good. Stop involving me in heavy metal. He's like, 
But babe, I only took you in three mosh pits, and you only got punched twice. I'd call that a good weekend! <laughs> oh boy, howdy. Practice safe moshing etiquette. No one should be jerks in a mosh pit. You're there to happily push people around. Alright, hey, we earned 350 coins before the weekly inspections. We got a double bonus there, our 50 and 70. The spiciness is going uh, for three more days, which is very good, because she only needs one more night, I believe, so we should be all good there. Sweet. Okay. And keep pushing forward. Nope, there was a panic button right at the hour flip. Okay, so Bonquisha, why have you awoken me at 11 p.m. at night? What, pray tell, could it possibly be? Just the two of us doing normal stuff. Why are you guys trying to talk at 9 p.m.? Just don't. Um, I suppose we can help you out with bad habits so that it does not become an issue. So let's get some hypnotherapy. Oh wow, there's no time today? Gee, wonder why? Who knew? It's almost like... I'm sleeping. You guys should be sleeping. I mean, they're going to sleep at midnight. So I guess I can't complain too much. But also, let's say, go to bed. We're almost to my birthday. Alright, and we are now 12 days ahead of... Uh, where we are in real life. It is February 9th right now. Okay. Problem with spiciness has been resolved. Oh, right. I'm supposed to go to Best Buy to get a surge protector. That'll keep my computer awake when the power goes out. Because the power goes out. Or went out. Spicy gets a Z. We are definitely, definitely done with spicy. Let's see if we can find a pesky cat. Maybe the bird would like to fly by. Does not appear so. Alright. Well, we can just persevere. Okay. Just let things play out. Anything feel like happening? Yeah, maybe Aurora is finally going to give us our three-star gift at the sports field. Man, it would be good to get rid of the sports field. Like, yes! Go away. We've had you for so long. Okay, yes, I would love to go watch the Hurdler Champion train. That actually sounds like, of all the track and field sports, to just watch, like, not a meet, but just training, I feel like hurdling, uh, long jumping, and, uh, high jumping and pole vault would be up there. I'm like, sprints? Nah. Aurora, please. This is ridiculous. Why? Why do you hate me so? Just... Give me the gift, okay? I just want to know what it is, too. Okay, Cordelia has her hypnotherapy now, which is good because I had forgotten about it. So I'm glad she didn't, or else this business would just not run so well. She has a huge list of stuff we can talk with her about. Let's do tree mountain fire, okay? The trees on the mountainside disappeared. No. Well, the trees sure disappeared. Wow. Wow. That went well. Okay, fire, mountain, light, or fire, boat, lightning. It's a mountain. Okay, fire's in the middle. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, so fire needs to be in the middle. We know that. But then boat can either go to the left. Okay, but wait. If fire needs to be in the middle, lightning cannot be over there. So we can put lightning there and get the boat over there, and that should be correct without needing to cheat. My goodness, though, what luck. What luck. Sometimes you just wish you'd get a little bit of information from that, but no. Okay, well, it's also obvious she's gonna stop doing that now. Do you need to spend time with friends? Like, no, you have five friends, honestly. You're doing fine, but maybe you can hang out with one of the new people. Chic and sporty. I don't know if I'd really count on that. You might be able to do something with Lily if you do, uh... Hmm, now I'm not so sure. Sheik. Sheik says they like Artie, so... Recite haiku poetry, why not? Try it. Can't be the worst thing in the world, right? I won't get rid of having something to eat. 
we'll get rid of watching mindless TV. We'll wait a little bit because it's not important that you have a friend right now. You've got friends. You got a friend in me, but not me because I don't want to hang out with you every week, Cordelia. Okay. If friendship was literally determined by hanging out with someone every week, I'd have like no friends. <laughs> Like, that's a commitment right there. I mean, I guess it's only for an hour. Like, maybe you can do it for an hour. But usually when I hang out with a friend, it's like, hey, let's go, like, at the very least do, like... Okay, it's gonna sound weird and date-like, but, like, dinner in a movie. You know, dinner and let's bum around the shopping centers or something. Like, mall and lunch. Like, uh, only if schedules conflict do I just do a meal. And I never do anything less than a meal. And usually the meals require sitting and talking for a while. Like, I never do a meal in an hour. It's always... Like, I set aside two or three hours for friends. And I don't know if I can do that every week. Like, I, I got stuff to do on my own also. Like I said, I gotta run the Best Buy. I think Peggy's probably the only one that I'd be friends with. Uh, but I don't know if that counts, because this considers uh, friends different from... Uh, partners so oh well oh well granted i suppose it also does help that they live like all right next door to each other man oh man my my closest friend right now lives three hours away so i'd say that's a pretty good reason for why i don't you know get out and do stuff really of all that you're really not gonna give me any i should have cheated to do uh I should have cheated like to do a uh, personality trait because we have the level up coming soon and I need to make sure that that goes off without a hitch and I need to make sure that this doesn't flip over even though I know it's going to. Very rude. Can you please just lie about enjoying astrology? It's not that hard. Like, yeah, I like stars, which isn't a lie. I love stars. And then you follow up with another non-lie. So all together goes, yeah, I like stars. I'm a Pisces. And they're like, wow, that's great. Oh, see, we're an astrologically a perfect match. Congratulations, you two. Getting on like a house on fire. Oh yeah, it's all going to crumble down soon in just a giant pile of ashes. That's what you were talking about, right? I think that's what, I think that's what she was talking about. Cordelia's apparently sad because she can't move forward with Bonquisha. It's fine. You'll be okay, alright? I'm just waiting to get the notification that the guilty pleasure one is Message done. That's received. all I care about. Is it this one? Benjamin? Occupation. Occupation. Alright. Uh, occupation now has a Z. Ah, it's something, though. It's something. Let's go back and see what Jeremy's up to. Okay, being modern too much gets a Z now. Very cool, that's two problems solved. We might be able to get traditional out of it too, which I'm not 100% certain that I have. It has an X, but uh, Zs, that's the new strategy right there. I don't know if Xs mean anything good, but Zs definitely do. Please give me one of those lovey dubby juices. Bye! I thank you for your, uh, wonderful selling wares. Let's see. Which one was it? You? Okay. I don't remember the pattern. No, no. Hmm. I wish I remembered how to do alien mode. That would be fun. One of these days I'll get it, right? That didn't sound right. Nope, can't just do that. Hmm, maybe it was yellow first? You just go across the screen like that? No? I don't know why I'm wasting time doing this. Like, it does not matter. I just really want it. Hmm. I wish I still had my notes on this. <laughs> Darn. 
I can't get it. I'll need to go back and like actually watch that stream. I thought I had it. Is it online at this point? Hitting powers, love life, alien mode. How to enter alien mode. Gameplay.tips. Well, that sounds sketchy. Okay. Four, five, three, oh, no. Oh, four, five, three, one, five? That doesn't seem right. I thought you had to hit them all. It doesn't even have two in there. With the available notes, you can play the 12 o'clock Big Ben chime by clicking the zones in the following order. 1, 5, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 5, 3, 4, 2, 2, 4, 5, 3. Very cool. Let's go on a guided tour, please. Huh. 4, 5, 3, 1, 5. Do you really not need to hit two at all? I thought I had to, I thought you had to hit all of them. I don't know. All right, could you give me the three star gift? That's all I care about. Nope, just another stupid Tutankhamun postcard. I don't need any more of these postcards. What do you expect me to do with them? What friends do you think I have that I can send these to? Okay, let's try it. That didn't work. Oh, that was the wrong one. No, is that not three? I hit four, three. Oh wait, yeah, four, five, three, one, five is what it says. But that doesn't seem right. There we go. Okay, it's two. Like I, I, I could have sworn. I was like, I know you needed. Oh wait, but I need to actually click it. I was like, I know you needed to hit all of them. And that. Okay, we might as well have a little bit of fun with this. Because, you know, otherwise, what's the point of the video? I mean, not that I'm not having fun, but like, we haven't done alien mode, honestly, since those first live streams. Let's help, let's help people, let's help some aliens out. Let's help some aliens out. They're nice and green and wonderful people, okay? I like how you can still see their eye color. I never noticed that before, it's very good. I wonder if it still has uh, the issue with the faces. I don't think so, because I, I told Spray Kitty about that, and um, she said it was fixed. But uh, I don't know if I ever went through and just checked, honestly. So, you know, maybe that's what we got to do now. We got to be a good QA and just start checking. I didn't get a good crossover on that one. That one was all right. Not optimal, though. That one was nice. Nice, good crossovers, guys. But please, please, guys, could you... I just need, like, one more crossover, and then I can just spray you guys. Okay, this is just ridiculous now. Is this gonna be one? You know it is. Okay, let's just do that. And do that. Just gotta make sure I'm getting money wherever I can. There's no reason to turn down free money. Okay, let's go and continue with the what's its, I suppose, is uh, what we were doing. So it's four, five, three, one, two. Looks like they weren't even trying. Oh, I forgot to do the Big Ben thing. Can I, can I do that? Okay. Five, four, three. Is that not three? That doesn't sound right. No, it was. Okay. Three, four, five, three. Five, okay, five, three, four, two. Two, four, five, three. <laughs> I love it. That's so good. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I used to have a neighbor who had that doorbell, and I had no idea what it was. I honestly just knew that as like a fancy doorbell chime. I didn't know that was the Big Ben 12 o'clock theme. Time to release the I mean, granted, that's also trusting a website called Gameplay.tips. So I have no idea. But, uh, like that, okay. That's the full beard, very good. Extravaganza makeup is very solid, thank you. Okay, we're getting along well, that's fantastic, that's fantastic. I would uh, still like, I would love confirmation from Benjamin that all the pff, guilty pleasure stuff is all fixed. Let's see, Brody has a teensy problemo that he would like solved, that's fine. And Jeremy, while Brody's still at home, we are going to help him out, all right? 
Okay. I was thinking. Oh, the boiler's playing up again. Okay, we'll get a pipe. We got that. Uh, boom. Just perfect square corner. Just a perfect square corner like that guy. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Okay, good. We can go on watching fantasy movie or fantasy princess movies. Fantasy movie princesses. It's almost kind of the same thing, right? Almost. If you don't think too hard about it, you've got a problemo you want to talk about, and that's fine. I suppose I can help you out. Okay, let's talk Pick about problem. your problemos and see what- it's probably intimacy. Oh no, it's food. Problem with your partner is behavior. The food he serves you. Very good. We gotta speak to Jeremy about that when we place gazing out the window. Okay, very good. And do you, do you want to spend time with friends? Do you need to? Okay, you're edgy. Got chic, hipster, geeky, practical, practical, sporty. I mean, you can probably do uh, Larry if you have something. Do not. Oh, but I think he would like watching a movie about fantasy princesses, too. That sounds fine by me. Okay. We'll let you go out and do that. Hopefully that'll be all good. I just gotta make sure that people stop complaining about friendship. Because that is, that is one of the secret killers. That there is, uh, not having friends. And they just get real annoyed at everything. You're like, excuse me. I would prefer not. Just be happy, okay? That's, quite frankly, all I really want from all my people in this town. I just don't want them to move out. You guys can be happy, you just need to have problems and not move out. We gotta talk about our meals together. Serve me meals I actually enjoy, okay? Because I can't eat that garbage anymore. Uh, Jeremy, that is your real name. Would would have been even better if he had a food name right there, but he did not. Okay, uh, unless we really mess things up, yeah, like we should be able to get a full 10 days jackpot compromise right there. So I'll take that. Good. How could I refuse? Well, that's pretty easy. Just say, no, I like those meals. You can cook for yourself. And then one of you sleeps on the couch. It's just a whole messy thing. But that is, that is how you would refuse, all right? I, Thank you for listening to my advice podcast. Hopefully it's all good. Who's sending me a message now, Peggy? No, you can't move out. You know this. Riss, please come to me with, like, a new problem. That would be sweet. Please just come out of nowhere and be like, I don't like something. Do I have anything that is totally unchecked? No, I don't think so. So I think I have everyone. Now, I can't have everyone, because I do not have the achievement, but I can hope, right? Okay, not spending enough time with friends. I know, I know. We'll leave it, we'll leave it. I've been trying to get you to hang out with friends. Don't I have one scheduled for you? Nope, guess not. Sporty, yoga, bar hopping, vintage trainers. Well, why don't you hang out? Uh, can I see how many friends you guys have now? Why don't you go hang out with Bonquisha? Right, you need a bar to go bar hopping. Let's not be ridiculous. Okay, we'll help you out with that later, probably. Probably. A bar would be helpful. You know, for the bar hopping. But I don't think it's that important. You just get alcohol. Oh no, we did it! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, now I just need new gifts! We did it! That's the guilty pleasure! That's the guilty pleasure! Oh, okay, the methodical, I would assume we maybe also needed, but that, I don't know, because I was at 27 when I started, but that one's good. Bonquisha, the problem with the craft center. I'm pretty sure I already had location done, like 100% certain. Benjamin, the problem I had with Peggy's secret obsession with existential dilemmas has been fixed. Nice. So, wowzers. Wowzers. So, collect all the three-star gifts and collect all the two-star gifts. That's all we have to do now. And uh, how am I doing on those? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, like quite a few two-star gifts, honestly. And uh, 
uh, I believe it's the same amount each. I think I need like six of each or something. But uh, that is that is pretty awesome. Okay, so it is just uh, in the best possible way a grind now to try and get all the gifts. That means we start moving people out in the next episode. It'll be great, and we need to just start getting new people that we can complete all the missions with. Uh, we're uh, I think I'm actually going to get more locations just in case you know we get friendship ones and all that. The only one I still don't know if I've ever gotten even a single tick on is prevent them from becoming enemies you know you'd think that'd just be the the pinball game but it wasn't given that to me so we'll see how that goes but that's awesome i'm gonna leave this episode here i'm supposed to remind you to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video until next time on kitty powers love life goodbye <laughs>